Don't make me cry. What is it? No, Allie. No. no. Hello Snack Pack, welcome back to Travel Snacks. Today's episode is all about packing up the van and leaving California. In today's video, you'll get to see us trying to fit everything I own into my van, a few last minute things to do and add to the van, and the emotional goodbye with me and my parents. This is a special episode, so let's jump right in. When I bought the van, I pretty much knew right away that I was gonna be living in it full time. So for six months, I had been listing things on Facebook Marketplace and OfferUp. I also gave a lot of stuff away to friends and family. The rest I donated to a local thrift store that's owned by a church I go to when I'm staying with my parents. Building a van is difficult, but also getting rid of your lifelong possessions is also very difficult and emotional. Going from a house to one bedroom in my parents' house and then moving to a van, it's a lot to get rid of at one time. So even though I did get rid of a lot of my possessions, I still had a good deal of stuff left, as you can see here. So everything you see in the video is all the things I was trying to bring in my van. Now, in all fairness, some of the things I was giving to my son in Texas, but the rest are things I felt I couldn't let go of. Once we had everything on the driveway, I looked at it and I was like, holy moly, that is too much stuff. But we still tried to pack it all in. We ain't gonna have room for all that, but what we do have room for is everyone that wants to become part of the snack pack. All you gotta do is hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you might as well throw a like on it and watch till the end so you can see my official start of my full-time van journey. One of the last things to come out was my toilet, which is one of my favorite things about the van so that I don't have to stop all the time at Walmarts and Starbucks to go to the bathroom. This was before I had the sliders glued under the bottom, so they were just kind of floating, but I tried to push the toilet in and it didn't go back. So I was like, what is going on? So I kept trying and I was like, maybe it's getting caught on the sliders. But when I looked at it, I realized that there's a wooden lip back there and it wasn't going to go any further. Oh no! Oh boy. Dad's going to have to fix this. Oh yeah, she needs your help, buddy. So my dad had to cut down the storage portion of the toilet, which is what keeps my wipes, toilet paper, and stuff like that. Also coming from a house to a small space, I had bought so many vegetables and I was like, you are going to eat these vegetables no matter what. So you better squish them all in there. I'll tell you a little secret. About two months later, I ended up throwing these all away in a trash can at a park because they all had frostburn from being in the freezer so long. And now if you can believe it, my mom and I spent a lot of time playing Tetris, trying to figure out how to fit every last thing in and we got it done. At this point, we weren't really worried about too much organization because I was gonna be doing that later, but we just shoved a lot of stuff into the cabinets so I can get on the road. This was the last day. So my mom was sewing my privacy curtain, making my bed, and my dad was making sure I had the right tire pressure. After that, it was time to hit the road, but not before I wanted to give my parents a few oh, presents, God. one of which I'll share with you now. A 78 record. Oh. Are you ready? Sure. No, she has to film us. It's on. Just pull it out. Sure. Ooh. Dad's not gonna... <laughs> A, a picture of it's a brown. A picture frame. It's a picture of a brown out. Yeah. <laughs> Close your eyes. It's not for me. There's no way in heck. Don't make me cry. What is it? No, Allie. No. <laughs> what is it? Buddy. What? No way. She stayed up all night and painted that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's heartbreaking. <laughs> I'm gonna get... If I could stop crying, I could see it. <laughs> Just for some context, this picture was actually taken way before the van was built. This was taken right after we finished lifting the roof. Nothing was really built on the inside. And if you notice, the van in this picture is white with black trim. I just did that in Photoshop. And I just basically imagined what it was gonna look like when it was done and 
did a little bit of tweaking in Photoshop just for the van part. Then I went to Etsy and found an artist that does drawings of people with their first homes. And I was like, hey, can you do a van? And she was like, sure. And then I was like, can you give it a desert background? Because my parents live in the desert. And she's like, yeah, definitely. So this was the first proof she sent me and it was perfect the way it was. And I framed it and gave it to my parents and they loved it and hung it up in the house. Well, it's time to hang up my tool belt. Thanks, Dad. Love you. Love and you have too. a wonderful trip. After I hung up my tool belt, I grabbed our channel mascot, Sugar Crystal Candy Corn, and put her in the passenger seat. Right after this, though, I ran out of room and had to start putting a bunch of stuff on the front passenger seat, of which most of was Amazon and Walmart and Home Depot returns, which I did before I left California. Well, my friends, it was an emotional moment, but it was finally time for me to jump in the van and say my goodbyes. Bye, I love you. Bye, mom and dad. Thank you for everything. I love you so much. You're the best. Well, I just took off. It was a bittersweet farewell with my parents who've done so, so much for me during this time of staying with them while the van was being built and just they've given so much of themselves and I'm so, so super grateful to them. And we've been working so hard on this van. I actually don't even know where I'm going. So I need to pull over. I need to figure out what route I'm taking and where I'm going to stay for tonight. I also have so much stuff in this van because I have a lot of returns to make I also have a lot of my son's stuff who I'm going to see in Texas. So once I get there, I'll be able to unload a lot of this stuff as well. But this is so, it's just, I can't even wrap my brain around how I'm feeling right now. It's so exciting and just so, it's just, it's just a different chapter in my life and I'm just so ready to begin it and so excited for it. and. I'm so grateful to everybody that's helped me along the way. It's just been, it's been a long, a long challenging project, but I'm so grateful that it's done. Also, on a side note, I'm going to have to figure out these camera angles because this van's dashboard isn't like my old car where there was a flat surface. So I'm going to have to fa find out all the stuff that I can do to make nice videos. So here we go. <music> Snack time Snack time